Yo, what's going on, good people? This is a message for Hartford's men's basketball team. I'm really upset that I can't be there with you, but I wanted to make sure to send a word. This word, my Lord, I, it hit me, and I believe it is for you, for more than just you. So feel free to share this as well. As you can see, I'm out of town, and hopefully that'll tie in too. The word is God wants to heal your history. Yeah, that's right. God wants to heal your history. Many times we react out of our hurt and we wonder like, how could God let something like this happen to us? And we basically bark or try our best to keep people away. But there are two things that I want you to hold on to. One is that God has a, uh, a perfect will and then there are things that are not in God's will that he allows to happen because he knows that it can be redeemed for our good. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the trauma that we've experienced, the abuse, the violence, even the mistakes that we have made ourselves. Sometimes we could just split them into two categories when we're talking about evil. That's man-made evil and that's natural evil. So man-made evil will be the violence, the gun manufacturers, the getting paid off somebody else's death. Like for real, why? The uh, environmental evil will be like flooding and all the above. But again, God wants to heal your history so that you can react out of your sensitivity, not necessarily out of your hurt. All right. I spoke with Brother Lano the other day and was talking about how him as a police officer responding to calls from now on, he will have a softer place in his heart because he has experienced some unnecessary and uncalled for violence. I said it the other day, I'll say it again. God is not pleased at the slaying of a two-year-old. Mistake or not, hmm. he's not pleased. He is not pleased. Yet God can use that. Look at the 50th chapter of Genesis. When Joseph told his brothers like, look, I forgive you. I know that what you meant was for evil but God will turn it around and has turned it around for the saving of many. So God bless Operation Bryson. God bless the family. God bless our family. Amen. Thank you. Yo, there is a righteous remnant that is rising up. So by all means, please keep going, y'all. God doesn't want us to just live right. He wants us to live righteously. The other thing I got to say, John eleven thirty five. Jesus wept. So many times we are thinking that we can't be men and show our, show our emotions. But is he not the Lord of all? Did he not decide to die so that we might be saved? And while he was living, he let tears fall. So when you feel that let go, y'all, there's no reason to hold on to that. Jesus wept. Read that story. Read why he wept. The other two things I got to send you to the Bible and ask you to do the work yourself. If you're hungry, this is for you. If you're not hungry, it's cool. Maybe next time. We, <laughs> Jesus came back in his resurrected body with scars still in it. He had a hole in his side and Thomas was like, I'm not going to believe that it's you, Lord, until I put my hand in the side of your body. Jesus was like, here you go. It's me. Lastly, by his stripes, we are healed. Not by what we buy, not by the time of amount of time we take off work. God bless y'all.